Happening today, dozens of local veterans are taking an all expenses paid round trip to the nation's capital. For many of them, it's a once in a lifetime trip to see memorials built in their honor. Oh, it's such a sweet time. Raya joins us from the airport this morning. We're on our air. All those people are gathering and I know you're loving it. Good morning, Abby. I am absolutely loving being here. The airport is buzzing. There is so much excitement, and I'm getting to chat with so many incredible veterans from here in East Tennessee. This morning, I'm here with Mr. Tom Richardson, who actually drove all the way from Athens. Isn't that right? What time did you wake up today to be here? About 3.30. At about 3.30. Well, you can tell this is obviously something very, very special for many of these veterans here. You served in Korea for about two years. Tell us about your time in the military. I must tell is it's a life. <clears throat> I enjoy it, really. After it's all over with. Uh, you were telling me earlier you wished you could have served even longer. Yeah, I wish I'd stayed in and retired. I'm like everybody else. I want out of this man's army. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Well, I regret it. But you enjoyed your time as a military policeman. That is what you did in Korea for two years. Yeah. But uh, if I had to do over, I'd stay in there. You know it's, how that goes. it's emotional, isn't it? You're tearing up a little bit. You told me you, you didn't know if you were going to be able to make it on this trip today. What yeah. are you looking forward to? The whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I just, I never dreamed <clears throat> I'd ever get to go. Still haven't found that shit. Oh, you got your attention. It's something else. My daughter, she, she had never been nowhere either. So, I, re I really, really yeah, have enjoyed it so far. And I, I flew halfway around the world and back. I left Atlanta, flew to Frisco, to the Washington State, to uh, Japan, uh, Korea. Back, back to Atlanta. I tell you what, Seoul, South Korea, is like a football stadium down in a hole. You go in like this and you come out like that. The bad part is leaving over there. You're sitting there on a the runway. You see them little jets look like gnats flying around. Right over the hill is a DMZ, and that's what scares you. Where they allow us to shoot that plane down. And I tell you, it's, it's something else. What a life you've lived, and you turn 81 next month. Your birthday's coming up in November, so a very early birthday. Happy birthday, I should say, from all of us, Mr. Tom. Thank you. Thank you for spending the time with me this morning. It's been a pleasure getting to know you, and I hope you have a wonderful trip. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and send things back to you in the studio. Just so many incredible stories here. And like I said, it's just an amazing environment to really be in. But I'll go ahead and send things back to you for now, and we'll check back in a little bit later on. Yeah, a really emotional trip.